y'all already know we're talking about the real housewives of atlanta season 12 episode 18 can you believe it's been 18 damn episodes so far <sighs> the ladies are still in greece the ladies are still in greece and it's called this particular episode is called a, a greek tragedy in six acts so I don't even know where to start, child. I look. I want to start at the end, but I'm gonna start at the beginning because we gotta get to the end some kind of way. So you know, this episode it seemed like everyone was getting along for the most part. I love the fact that they, you know, they were sightseeing. You know, we were getting to go along on their Grecian vacation with them. Um, they had dinner in the sky, which was real cute. You know, we got to see all the ruins while they were. Uh, what was a hundred feet up in the air? So it was, it was really cute. Y'all already know that Team Twirl is going to be pissed off. Team Twirl deserves to be pissed off because hell, Kenya is pissing everybody off. I don't even know where to, where to go with this. Where do we go from here? Okay, we already know Eva ain't there. Eva's too busy having having her baby, and we almost would not we would not have even known that Eva wasn't there if she hadn't a Facetime. But that's besides the point. But the episode started off with the ladies, uh, you know, having having a little you know a little dinner. A little dinner up in the sky. And oddly enough, Candy had to have a little side meeting with Kenya prior to their, you know, uh, their uh, dinner to tell her not to tell Nene that they were having it because, you know, Nene is afraid of heights. So we already know Candy and Kenya in this little tight alliance thing that they got going on. But I got to give it to Candy just a little bit because Candy, <sighs> for once, for once she stepped outside of Kenya's shadow and she called her out when they were having dinner Kenya the person who was always talking about her brand Kenya more hair care don't be talking about her wigs because you know she's all about natural hair even though she wears wigs all the time she's all about being natural even though she got a fake booty and fake boobs and fake contacts she's all about being natural but you know anyway long story short kenya decided that she would test her bff cynthia's knowledge of wines you know because cynthia has a wine cellar why not let's let's test her out a little bit as they were you know pouring the wines kenya asked, asking cynthia all these different questions is this a good wine what you know what type of wine goes with the red meat cynthia clearly did not want, know what the hell she was talking about and when people was, you know, calling Kenya out about it, Cynthia was like, I haven't been read. I haven't been read. First, you have to know you've been read in order to be read. It's like, no, Cynthia, you've been read. Like, clearly, uh, Kenya is calling you out because you don't know what the hell you selling in your wine cellar. So it took Candy. It took Candy to kind of call Kenya out about it because she was like, Kenya, what you selling in your wine cellar? Since you so smart about this. And so that shut Kenya down a little bit. But... You know, somebody said Kenya is a very, very evil person. I mean, I've been trying to tell y'all this for for how long now? Y'all don't want to listen. Y'all don't want to pay attention. I try to tell y'all. I keep telling y'all, keep your eyes on Kenya. Keep your eyes on Kenya, Cynthia, and Candy. But now it seems that Kenya is turning on her friend. What is that about? You said Kenya and Nene are one and the same. If you say so, I don't know about that. But anyway, long story short, um, Kenya also, it seemed to me that Kenya is a little jealous of Portia because, you know, Portia was having a good time flouncing around in her pretty outfits, taking pictures, you know, with the ruins. You know, her and Tanya seemed like they all love and like, you know, because Tanya and uh, Portia, they have the best energy in the group, in my humble opinion. And so while they were like taking pictures, you know, they on vacation. Why they can't take pictures everywhere? You got Kenya telling them they need to stop acting like you been somewhere. Kenya, who are you? Who are you to, to treat Portia like she your little daughter or something? Anyway, anyway, I digress. I digress. Uh, so then they head over to smash some plates to get some the animosity out, you know, since Kenya's divorce is 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 pending. I guess it's still pending. I, I don't even think they ever got married in the first place, but that's a whole nother story. But um, 
you know, Kenya said she wanted to get, you know, some stress out. And she felt like, you know, the smashing of the plates, that was a good thing to do. Uh, they, they, they clued us in on the history of that because they said that loud noises drives out evil spirits. So perhaps Kenya's evil spirits would have been driven out by all that plate crashing. But I don't think, I don't think that, uh, that helped so everybody noticed that kenya was tarnishing uh cynthia's brand because even when they went to the wine tasting uh winery she was still asking cynthia you know trying to throw shade asking cynthia little questions to see if cynthia was going to ask answer them uh with the right answers <sighs> oddly enough the producers even called kenya out about it in a confessional the producer asked kenya why was she pressing Cynthia so hard about her knowledge of the wine? And Kenya got offended. Kenya was like, who is writing these questions? I'm not going to answer them. That is my friend. I mean, if she doesn't know, we could, we could teach her. No, Kenya, if she doesn't know, you don't put her on blast in front of the whole world. You don't uh, question her knowledge of wine while the cameras are rolling, you know, to tarnish her brand. Like, we already know that you you told Marlo, you know, hey, Marlo was clowning you about wigs, and you told her you're very serious about your brand. Tanya, you pissed off at Tanya for bringing the wig. You told her you're very serious about your brand. But clearly, it doesn't matter because you're not serious about anybody else's brand. You said Kenya was dead wrong, Sabrina. She was was dead as wrong and everybody knew it Portia and Tanya even decided to go buy um Cynthia a little evil eye bracelet because it seemed like Kenya and her negative energy was starting to take a toll on Cynthia if you notice Cynthia was a little bit more laid back you know she wasn't really saying much you could tell her friend kind of embarrassed her and, and you know another thing I noticed when they were at the winery and I'm hopping all over the place. But when they were in the winery, did you notice that uh, Kenya decided she would buy Cynthia a case of all these different wines to take back with her? I feel like Candy must have like whispered in her ear because you know they the three amigos. You need to do something because that wasn't cool. You know, we, you know, everybody that called you out about it, that was Shay. That's supposed to be your friend. Hell, the only reason you back on the show is because of Cynthia and Candy. So you should be kissing their ass. But again, I digress. You said Cynthia's a little slow, just a little. And then when uh, Portia and Tanya gave Cynthia the bracelet, Cynthia was still defending Kenya. She told them, I know Kenya you know she's she's like a sister to me and i know her shade and even portia was like well there's a difference between fun shade and bitter shade and that that particular what she was doing was pressing and pressing and pressing that wasn't cool and so you know that, that you know it is what it is if she gonna sit there and defend uh kenya so be it but if it had been nene leaks <laughs> Y'all already know Nene would still be on an apology tour today if it had been Nene. But Cynthia seems to forgive and forget any anything that Kenya does. Kenya almost ruined her uh, her uh, her engagement party. She almost ruined that. And, and and Candy was pissed off about that. And what did they do? They just shrugged it off, moved and moved on. You said like Cynthia riding hard because she refused to look stupid at this point. Ooh, but she looks stupid, child. She looks stupid. <sighs> anyway, let's continue. Let's continue. What about the shade? Nene threw a bunch of shade at Tanya, too. Because, you know, Tanya, Tanya is engaged to a millionaire. So it's clear that whatever feelings that uh, Kenya has towards Tanya is because Tanya's relationship is everything that Kenya wants. Kenya wants a man that loves and adores her. Kenya wants a man of means and tanya clearly has all of that even if she isn't married which kenya keeps throwing up in her face so here we are in greece oddly enough y'all remember the cookie lady and tanya has not brought up the fact that you know kenya is getting a divorce tanya is better than i am because that would have been the first thing i brought up you up here dragging me about my relationship you dragging me talking about my 
a fiance is talking to other women and your husband don't even want to be with you where is your husband but anyway i digress i digress meanwhile while they was talking about paul being a millionaire and how you know uh tanya got it made here come candy telling y'all y'all need to look at the thousandaires because you know i wouldn't have looked twice at time but he wasn't making a lot of money but us together we can make billions honey us together can make billions <laughs> So, Candy wants y'all to know, you know, don't be just looking for the rich men, okay? Look for, especially if you make all the money, you may not find you a Jay-Z. You may not be the Beyonce that finds a Jay-Z. You need to look at some of the men that only got, you know, a couple of hundred thousand in the bank instead of the millions. And so, Candy, we hear you. We hear you. Where is your husband? You tell you asking me, Devon? I don't know. Can y'all find him? I don't know where he at. But anyway, I digress. I digress. Um, Nene was spinning some real game too when they were talking about these relationships because you, child, we already heard Nene was talking about Greg FaceTiming somebody. He cheated on her emotionally, child. The, look, here goes some tea because look, when I was blogging way back in the day when I, when Nene and Greg had that fake divorce allegedly and i was talking about how greg was seeing this lady and then he was pissed off and cursing me out that cursing me out down to the twitter and everything so apparently i was calling out the fact that they were still together because why you mad if he with another lady if y'all broke up but anyway i'm <laughs> i didn't read all off the deep end but um you know nini was telling y'all that you know when you've been in a relationship so long they've been married what 20 some years or somewhere around there you know communication is key sometimes you know somebody might step out i mean shit happens but if that doesn't mean your man doesn't love you and she was inadvertently giving portia a little bit of advice you know y'all need to talk it out maybe it was something that was missing in the relationship maybe some things need to change if y'all are both willing to communicate things can work out which is og knowledge if y'all have ever been married before and i have if you have ever been married for any length of time you know no relationship is perfect shit happens but it's all about how you come back together to you know create a stronger foundation for the future but again i digress you said she was giving giving kenya some advice too i guess she was giving kenya some advice on the love but kenya's man ain't never lived with her so it really don't matter if he cheat or not cheat because hell they not together in the first place we don't even believe that's a real relationship that's why we was waiting on the damn reunion so we can see this play play marriage license that kenya been hiding all this time but again <laughs> uh let me see oh okay so portia decides to take control of the remainder of the trip which kenya did not like you know kenya was not seeing it for portia taking over because portia decided that she wanted to do something you know since the girls were all getting along but wait i'm skipping apart Portia and Nene made up at the winery. They finally had a heart-to-heart -heart talk. They finally big sis and little sis. They, you know, they left. They had a talk together. And it seems like Candy and Kenya feel some kind of way because they didn't mend fences in front of everybody as if they had to. Candy asking, where's Nene? Where's Portia? Uh, uh, Kenya asking, why they didn't, why we didn't see what was going on with them? Why did y'all have to? Well, at the end of the day, they made amends. They cool without anybody interjecting, which was really what should have happened between Nene and Cynthia well before the, the incident in Toronto when Kenya was putting her foot in it and everybody was trying to fight. But, you know, things happen when they're supposed to happen. And clearly, you know, Nene and Cynthia are in, in a good space now. Uh, now she's in, also in a good space with Portia. And, you know, Kenya is fuming about this because clearly she want to keep Nene on the outs so she can be on the ends. But, okay, Portia decides she's going to take hold of everything. You know, she done made, made up with Nene. Now they decided let's have what's called a ruin party she said they put everything on the table hash everything out and leave it there so that you know we can finally move past this big elephant in the room because clearly everybody knows that nini and kenya don't see it for each other they all buy the little crowns decide to put on everybody's head so that everybody if they got a problem with somebody can tell what problem they got <sighs> 
for wait. Oh, look, I'm looking at my notes. Oh, the black cat in Kenya. Kenya's negative energy. I don't know what it is, but the producers want y'all to know about Kenya's negative energy. I don't know who Kenya that pissed off at Bravo, uh, what producer don't like Kenya, but apparently they showing the black cat under Kenya, they showing Portia and Tanya buying the evil eye to ward off her evil spirits, they just showing everything to show us that, you know, Kenya, you know, is evil, but again, I digress, so we finally get to this ruin party, Cynthia decides she's going to tell Kenya how she felt about the wine situation. How, you know, what did she say? She said, uh, was it really a joke or was she the joke? Am I the joke is what she said. So, you know, Kenya said, you know, she, she didn't mean it that way. And apparently, you know, Cynthia just let it go. But, you know, what I find interesting is Nene in her confessional was like, you know, Kenya feels like she can bully everybody. She act like she a punk. And for once, to me, it seems like Nene is standing up for Cynthia because everybody else is letting it roll. Everybody else saw how Kenya was treating Cynthia. And Nene was like, bump that, F that. Fuck that, you know, uh -uh, I'm about to call this heifer out right now today. So, you know, she wasn't having it. She was like calling out Kenya, told, called her a bitch. And when she called her a bitch now, she said it, you know, jokingly. She was like, bitch, shut up, a bitch, whatever she said. But Kenya all of a sudden was like, oh, so what you go, you calling me a bitch now? Now you want to fight? But Kenya can call everybody every word you can think of. She called Tanya a see you next Tuesday. So how is it all of a sudden that the B word is so offensive to Kenya when Kenya can throw it right back at everybody? You said the ruin party had you in tears. Nene showed up and was not having it. She was totally defending Cynthia. Exactly. She was like, you can bully everybody else, but you ain't going to bully me. And did you see Candy was the only person sitting there with Kenya? It was so visual. I wish I had a visual to show y'all, but I didn't, I didn't clip it out. But it was su such a visual because everybody was pretty much on one side and then Candy and Kenya sitting on the other side. Nene was acting like she going to throw peanuts <laughs> Nene was acting like she was gonna throw peanuts okay but clearly she wasn't um I don't know I would just end up there cheering at the whole thing but you know there you know there's that I'm just waiting on spit gate because I you know we want to see Nene attempt to try to spit on Kenya and clearly Bravo is gonna keep stretching this out to the bitter end now Thank you so much. I mean, I guess that's all I got. Because this was kind of like a filler episode. Again, they, you know, we we got the love and light. We did get Portia, you know, Portia making up with Nene. But this whole situation with Kenya, <sighs> I don't know. I, if I was Cynthia, I wouldn't be able to forgive. But that's just me. So.